Our skin is an intricate system that provides so much for our bodies. It absorbs some liquids and repels others. It is the attachment site for sensory receptors to detect pain, sensation, pressure, and temperature. Our skin protects us from injury and disease. However, when left exposed, our skin is vulnerable to cuts, bruising, and burning. Yet, in an amazing act of creation, our skin can heal itself. We are reminded of this miracle each time we see our own scars. Jesus was God, yet he was entirely human. In the summer, he would sunburn. He had splinters from working with wood. He would get scratches from olive branches and scrapes from jagged rocks. Finally, his skin bore the brunt of a beating that left his body unrecognizable. He has scars just like us. Consider the complexities of simply walking. During each step, we subconsciously assess incline, slant, and traction. We engage in an intricate system of sensors to maintain balance and pace. Yet all of this occurs seemingly without any effort. By walking, humanity was given a gift that all of creation is in awe of, the ability to carry. By putting one foot in front of the other, we can transport anything from food to books, from tools to a child. Jesus was God, yet he was entirely human. He walked hundreds of miles in his lifetime. He walked alone and he walked with friends. He held his balance in the mountains and did not slip on a rainy boat deck. He walked and carried his coat. He carried a basket of bread to his friends and a resurrected child to his mother. Yet the greatest load he ever carried was the weight of the cross on the way to Calvary. Jesus walked just like us. Our hands are made up of 27 bones, 17 muscles, and 13 ligaments. Our hands can help us make a living. We use our hands to communicate and to show compassion. The brain sends thousands of signals to our hand muscles so we can hold a hammer, write our name with a pen, squeeze a dish rag, or lift a baby, each action exerting the appropriate pressure with every micro-movement. And all of this is done without even thinking. Jesus was God, yet he was entirely human. His hands worked in Joseph's carpenter shop. He held a hammer and a chisel. He touched the hair of a child and wiped the tear from the cheek of the forgiven. Yet the greatest motion he ever made was when he received the nails of a torturous crucifixion. Jesus had hands just like us.